NBA player Langston Galloway's Ethics shoe brand launches the LG1 basketball shoe. So the Ethics shoe brand co-founded with his wife, with Langston Galloway's wife, Monica, was a result of an arduous process that began in his enrolling in the Harvard Business School and NBA's joint program crossover into business. So after working closely with his footwear designer, Brett Goliath, go live, ooh, and a design industry vet who actually worked at New Balance and has kind of been in General Motors for over a decade. Various rounds of product sampling with manufacturers, Langston has arrived at the LG One, the first ever launch for Ethics Shoe brand. So, obviously, like I said, I had to throw this in here because we have a pair on the way to review. I am excited about that. You pointed those out to me, so definitely props to you for that. So, I mean, first off, go ahead and let me get what you uh, think about the shoe before I kind of give you more info on it. You know, honestly, you know what this shoe really reminds me of? That, I think I know what you're going to say. Yeah, it reminds me of the uh, the women's shoe. Oh, no. The, uh, Never mind. I did not know it? what you were going to say. What is it called? The, um, <laughs> the Moolah Kicks? Yeah, the Moolah Kicks. Man, the straight, the straight white. You don't think so? I really don't. What do you think? What do you think? I was like, like, I was like, you were gonna say something along like Dame's line. It almost looks like the Kawhi Leonard shoe that we did. I was gonna say it. It does have like a New Balance kind of feel to it. That's what I was thinking in my head too. Like it's a little bit of a Kawhi, but I don't know. The first thing I thought was, man, why do they always start out with like a plain white sneaker like Moolah? Moolah just came out well, this plain, one's white. plain white. Well, this one's this white. one's got a purple tint. Oh, I love ooh, it. Purple We're tint. literally purple as a color brand. <laughs> so I would just eh, bring it down a little bit on that. It's more one. gray to me. But. Uh, you'd, uh, you'd have to look at the uh, at a different photo. But here, I'll give you a little more info on it now. So uh, what separates the LG One from other mainstream products is that these shoes are entirely hand stitched. So this type of cut and sew really? manufacturing is simply unfounded in the current landscape just you know due to the mass production and practices so langston himself has actually been playing in these and testing them for a year so obviously they're nba ready or i guess ready for me to go ahead and check them out so obviously you know you aren't super big into the basketball scene like not nearly as much as i am but you know in general i do we're like what do you think about this line also going forward from this lg1 uh it's exciting it's exciting to see that like you know players in the nba are now thinking like i don't have to sign like i have enough knowledge and i can actually make my own shoe and my own brand i think that's a really cool concept uh you know i think but it's gonna be tough man because you got some giants up there that it's you know it's usually just easier just to sign you know you know quote unquote your your life away to who's one like, of these sneaker brands who's at, buying these shoes you know that's what that's what i always turn around to is like who are you targeting to buy these shoes just for uh my last couple of things for you before we keep uh opening up this conversation but it's going to retail for 120 so it's like right around the middle of the pack mm -hmm. and we bought the first colorway but there's already five others on the way so this was just the first one and i actually had to go a half size down because everything else is sold out so whether that was just because they made one pair for each size or they actually were selling there's some sizes we're selling out so there's more colorways coming soon and they're already working on the lg2 mm -hmm. yeah so, i mean they, they had to. the second shoe in process so like with this first coming out i guess they're assuming it's gonna I, to create something like this it's something like that we talk about all the time with our business before you do something you want to put something out there and make sure people are going to be interested in it right like we've talked about branching off and doing certain things but before we do that we would want to make sure that there's someone out there that wants that to happen you know so i'm assuming that if he's working on an lg2 and i go online trying to buy my size and it's not there that maybe there are people interested in this shoe and i, I don't know who his audience is necessarily it's we haven't Obviously checked it out yet, so we don't know how good it is. Right. You got the hand stitched quality, but yeah, I'm I'm very curious to see what uh, what happens here because really this is like one of the very first you know NBA player brands making their own shoe. I don't think there's many. I mean, you could you could maybe say Shaq, but Shaq was with Reebok well, way back then. Yeah, and I you mean, got like Curry, some Curry's people go with uh, Under Armour. Some people go with that peak and Amazon too. Remember we right, reviewed that, like, like the Lou Williams peak, the that's even, Gordon Hayward peak. Right, but even that that relationship, so you know, NBA player finds a manufacturer. Not their own brand. Right, yeah, this, this is, is like their own of their own thing. So. I'm very excited to actually see these in hand. Uh, uh, hopefully, they perform well. Harvard um, Law School, too. I think it's cool that he really took those steps and went into Harvard Law School, Harvard Business School. And he's still so, an active NBA player, right? Yes. Yeah, wow, very impressive. And he's not like, but he's not like, you know, 
right. which makes me wonder like you know someone i'm trying to think of a good example you know not like a clay thompson or like i, I guess i can only really speak on you know my team i could i could speak about other players right. he's not a superstar just someone who's not a superstar right he's a good player right not even sure that he'd you know start on every team like he's not even like one of those guys like oh yeah he'd definitely play he's not an all-star how he's long he's superstar. been in the league not forever. He's still relatively young. So that's that's the thing that um I was gonna say, is he a new kid just coming down the block and didn't get signed with any of these big ones? So he's like, you know, you know, I'm gonna make my new. own or so Well not super new, because something that I've like been uh, listening to whenever I watch like breakdowns on different brands and like how to get it started and stuff is like if you're gonna create a brand, you wanna play within that sport for as long as you can to get more exposure. Of course. Like Tom Brady just created his T B twelve line recently. And like all this different stuff like no, that. He's had TB12. No, he, he just had a new line and a new like method and stuff like that. Oh, he did TB, TB squared. Exactly. So, and now they're saying, you know, he could retire after this year. He could do this, but the incentive to not is you want to stay in the league longer oh, yeah. where you're on the main screen because if you're not playing on Sunday anymore, like people will still talk about you. One of the greatest quarterbacks, forget, if though. not the greatest quarterback of all time, but Don't you're forget. not going to be there. You're not going to be getting asked about questions. You're not going to be here yeah. and there. So you want to stay around and keep your exposure. Yeah, the relative. With, like just stay relative. So I'm assuming that he's going to intend to play for as long as he can just to, you know, continue to have that, yeah. that maybe build his brand up a little bit more. So well, I was going to say, you know, shout out to Langston because, you know, this is a really, you know, if the NBA, you know, you never know, you can always follow with an injury or stuff like that. But, I think this is a really cool plan B that's also helping right now with his NBA. Um, so, yeah, like, I mean, there's nothing but good things to say about the you shoe. See, I'm, I am excited lot, about it. You see that a lot more now, too, with people being within a career and also dipping their foot into oh yeah you, you used to. to not see that it's like if yeah. you're doing anything about what's going on they've gotten a lot after smarter life, like yeah. well i mean you can look at it that way the counter to that is like if you're not if you're trying to worry about what's happening after your business and stuff like that like you're not maybe focused on what's going on on the court between the lines what if you have a bad game but you're also working on your business or like hey focus on your basketball yeah you're not you just yeah, got tough. two for 20 yeah. focus on basketball stop worrying about your business stuff like that so i mean there's there's like it's a different it's a trickier scale to kind of balance now make sure you're not putting too much mm -hmm. on one side or the other well luckily it looks like you know his wife monica is helping him out there. yeah that's true and i'm sure he's got like a smaller team yeah you know i'm like you know lebron lebron has probably another team specifically for his you know footwear design so i mean I'm, I'm sure they have it delegated properly but yeah super excited when those come in they shipped already so they it should shipped. be coming in soon that shoe review will be Ooh. coming out pretty soon coming out soon i'm excited